Thanks for joining us for Fox 4 News at 5. I'm certified meteorologist Katie Wolls. We start with the very latest on the tropics here in the last few minutes. Hurricane Hunters did indeed find a center of circulation denoting the first Gulf system of the season right on time considering this is the official start of hurricane season. The good news though is that this system as we've talked about for the last couple of days regardless of being a depression or even the potential for a storm here in the next couple of days. It's not going to be a threat to us. We'll continue to see that enhancement with our shower and storm development each afternoon for the next couple of days. But notice this the center of circulation will continue to move off toward the south kind of a different trajectory than what we might typically see. Now it is forecast to become a tropical storm before weakening to a remnant low and then over western Cuba as a remnant low here over the weekend. So bottom line, we could see tropical storm Arlene here in the next couple of days. But again, our main factors here will continue to be the threat for that heavy rainfall. So as we speak, the hurricane hunters currently flying through this kind of disorganized cluster of storms situated in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. And again, this will continue to work its way southward. But we are seeing those heavy downpours. It's what we dealt with yesterday and also today. Now, for now, the coastline is on the quieter side. We do have that flow off the Gulf. A couple of little rain showers right here over North Fort Myers. Otherwise, farther inland, that's where the bulk of activity is as we speak. So I want to zoom into where we do have some of those big downpours out there across Glades County, Palmdale to Moorhaven, Clewiston, seeing that very heavy rainfall and also stretching down toward, say, LaBelle into Felda. That, too, where we're dealing with most of the action. So Glades, Hendry, those are going to be our focal points here for the next couple of days. And then farther up toward DeSoto County, notice this also a very strong thunderstorm, the basically just to the north and east of downtown Arcadia, but it is sending lightning strikes some 15 miles away. So now as we take a look at what we are expecting, why we're expecting that system to not really be a big threat to us, we look at the wind shear. Those are the winds aloft. And keep in mind, the stronger those winds are, that's really going to denote where this storm is headed and also why we're expecting it to break apart heading toward the weekend. So notice this. It will continue in that southward move movement. But right here, you see all of that wind shear over the state of Florida and right here over southwest Florida. That's why we're not worried about a big impact from this particular system. So here's a look at those latest spaghetti plots, also known as your forecast models. And it is likely that it will continue that southward momentum. We'll talk more about this and how long it can impact our weather here. Next.